Stay tuned because Good Sports is coming up next. Kansas City Sports and Fitness is the magazine for sports fans in KC. Inside, we cover local sports and local teams from pro to peewee and everything in between. And this month's free copy of Kansas City Sports and Fitness includes the KC Baseball Report presented by Budweiser. You'll find Kansas City Sports and Fitness all over KC at places like Mafia Mike's and Mafia Pizzeria Salsa. And it's free, so pick one up today. This show was recorded live on Saturday, April 28th. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Welcome to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Show. Now, this segment of our show is presented by Kansas City Chiropractic. Now, if you are suffering from allergies this spring, and who isn't, uh, try All Natural Dehist. Now, you can try Dehist for free from Kansas City Chiropractic. If you buy a bottle of Dehist, you'll get a sample size bottle too. Take that sample, and if they don't help, return the unopened uh, bottle for a full refund. Now, for more details, call Kansas City Chiropractic at 816-753-4600 or visit KansasCityChiropractic.com. Hello, everyone. I am Steve Fish. I'm the publisher of Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC magazines, and you're watching or listening to Good Sports, the Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC show. Now, we're taping our show today at Mafia Mike's Pizza, located on the southwest side of 87th and Lackman in Lenexa, where you can take advantage of our TV and radio special. Mention you saw or heard our show, Good Sports, and you can get two large one-topping pizzas for just $14.99. You can call 913-660-1441 to place your order today, and that's also good at Mafia Pizzeria Southside, which is located at 127th and Metcalf. Now today, as I mentioned, we're taping our radio show, which will be on ESPN 1510 on Saturdays at 8 o'clock in the morning, and our TV show, which can be seen on SureWest Cable at 8.30 a.m., at 4.30 p.m., and at 8.30 p.m., and that is every single day. Now you can also view our show and some of our past shows on YouTube, and all you have to do is search for the channel that's called Good Sports KC. It's all one word, Good Sports KC. Now, before we get started with the show, I want to tell everyone that the current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness is available free at over 700 locations in KC. And this month, with our May issue, KC Sports continues to celebrate our 15th year as the magazine for sports fans in KC. And our new issue of She KC is now available at over 500 locations. Now, in our current issue of KC Sports, we feature our KC Baseball Spotlight, which is presented by Budweiser. This month, we outline the many personnel changes that the Royals have made, but we wonder if those changes will really change their record this season. Plus, we question whether it's really our time for the Royals. And in SheKC, we have a story on a female boxer from here in Kansas City who's getting ready for a title bout. Plus, we share information on the importance of stretching. And you can pick up your copy of our current issue of KC Sports and, and Fitness at Burger King at both Minsky's on Berry Road, Mr. Goodsense, the Kansas City Ice Center, and at Dick's Sporting Goods in the KC metro area. And for a complete list of locations where you can find KC Sports, visit our website, kcsportspaper.com. You'll find a link to a list of locations right on the homepage of the website. And you can actually look back at a, up to a couple of years of, of different PDFs of our issues as well. And our publication, SheKC, is now out and available at many of the locations where you'll find Kansas City Sports and Fitness. And you can visit our website, SheKC.com. Uh, you can check us out on Facebook at she at uh, SheKC, all one word. And you can also follow us on Twitter at She underscore KC. Now, as I mentioned, we are at Mafia Mike's Pizza at 87th and Lackman. The, it, the smell is fantastic here. It's making me hungry. I am ready for pizza. Our first guest is, has got a pizza waiting as soon as we get done. He is Savelle uh, Newton. He is a wide receiver from the KC Command. Uh, he has just joined us from practice this morning. Welcome to the show, Savelle. How are you doing today? Very good, very good. How are you doing? Um, so where are you actually from? I'm actually from South Carolina. Okay, okay. And did you play high school ball there? Yeah, high school ball at um, Marlboro County High School in South Carolina, 4A school. 
Okay, and did you play any other sports while you were while you were in high school, or yeah. run track or I something? I ran track, played baseball, and also played basketball. So okay, so you were a, a multi-sport athlete, <laughs> of course. Yeah. Um, and and at the college level, you you kind of stayed in that general area, didn't you? That but, part of the country. Yeah, I was in. I went to University of South Carolina. Um, played for Coach Holtz and um, Coach Steve Spurrier. Okay, okay. So now in college, one of the unique things that you did, I did some research. You played mm-hmm. like. Almost every position. Yeah. You know, it's like that guy on baseball that plays every position during mm-hmm. one game. You, yeah. you, play, you played a number of different positions. Fill us in on, on what you did. Well, um, when I came out of high school, I was actually the number um, five quarterback in the nation. Um, went and played for Coach um, Holtz. Had a nice practice one day. He came and said, well, we're going to move you to wide receiver. And um, <laughs> I, I started at receiver that year. Then um, came back my sophomore year, moved to quarterback. Coach Spurrier came, said, well, we think we could use you at wide receiver, move back to receiver, end up um, tearing, tearing my Achilles, and kept coming back the next year was the starting quarterback my senior year, and then ended my, ended my career at defense, um, <laughs> at safety, so it was, it was tough. But that's, that shows what kind of an athlete you were, because a, you know, a lot of the guys, especially football players, they, they're looking for that athlete. And some somebody that they can mold and shape and, and well, all that. Evidently, stuff. it hurt me. Um, oh. as far as as far as like yeah, as far as the so, selection, yeah, yeah certainly, yeah, yeah I, yeah. I mean, yeah, most definitely. Now, but I read on a fan site that you're a fun player to watch because you uh, had and and have the ability to be really elusive. Yeah. Um, what are some of your other strengths as 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 a wide receiver now for the Casey Command? Well, just just playing um, playing quarterback and also you know playing defense, being able to to know what what defenses do, um, do uh, out on the field, mm-hmm. and just know where they're going to be at, where the quarterback, where the holes at in the defense, and being on the same page with the quarterback is 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 the best thing that any receiver could do. So. That's basically what I try to do is get on the page with the quarterback. For sure, for sure. Now, you were number 13 in college, is that right? Yeah, I was number 13 Not in superstitious mm. uh, 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 at all, huh? No, no. <laughs> okay, but you're wearing number four now, is that right? Yeah, well, when, when I got here, I wanted 13. Um, I was number 13 actually last year. But um, Nate Davis, uh, who was starting for us at the right. end of the season, he was number 13. So I was like, well, you know, he can have it. And I, I switched to number four because my, my grandma passed last year, and she was 104. So oh, wow. Yeah, so. That's so a nice <laughs> tribute. Yeah, for, that's, yeah right. that's, that's fantastic. So you yeah. finished your college, college career with 673 receiving yards, 786 rushing yards, uh, 2,474 passing yards. Uh, you threw 12 touchdown passes. You rushed for one, and you caught one more. What were your highlights of college? I mean, that sounds like a great – Great mixture, but what is there anything, one or two things that stand out where you went, yes? Well, yeah. actually, I rushed for more than one. Oh, okay. It's clear that Okay, out. well, <laughs> okay, the yeah. web's wrong. Yeah, the don't website, trust the web. Yeah, the website's <laughs> definitely wrong. But, um, it, yeah, I mean, just, you know, I started out um, my freshman year. I was also doing kick return. So, you know, yeah. it, I, I, I mean, the stats, you know, it proves itself. I think Hines Ward, um, as far as, like, total all purposes, eight yards ahead of me. Mm-hmm. So I, I would have went ahead of him. Because only four players ever did it um, over 600 yards in rushing, passing, right, and receiving. Right. I was just, you know, fortunate to be one of those players. Right. Now, you played in the SEC. Yeah, SEC uh, football. Okay. Yes, so, sir. for those Mizzou fans here in Kansas City, <laughs> uh, what should the Mizzou fans expect? Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's a different – uh, to me, everybody say, you know, the conferences don't matter, is, you know. But it's, it's, re- it's really a different game, I feel – like the SEC, you, every week, you know, you can get you can get beat. You know, you go, you play Florida, Georgia, Tennessee. You know, just some teams have their their better years, and some teams have off years. And right now, my school, University of South Carolina, is just having great years. Um, Coach Burrier really is doing a lot of great job in recruiting down there. Right now, do you play in a bowl game? Were you did you participate in that bowl game, or were you injured that you were in the Liberty Bowl? Right. Well, I, I, yeah, I, I was started at um, defensive back. Okay, there, yeah. okay, I wasn't sure. I couldn't couldn't yeah. tell what what yeah, was like. that was the year before I was injured when we went to the okay. Independence Bowl against Mizzou. Oh, okay. oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, then the Mizzou fans have you know <laughs> have that have that to watch out for. Now, you you um, what was it like playing in a bowl game? Is it is it something special? I mean, is it? It's you know it's it's kind of almost the highest level. It's a bonus game. Actually, is more more fun than actually playing in a regular season, especially if you're not you're not playing in D bowl game like one of the BCS bowl games, or you know it's another game uh, for you to get some film. You know, for guys who's coming out their senior years, another shot to prove to the scouts what you what you're capable of doing. And um, 
I mean, it's fun. It, really, the week's fun. You know, you go out of practice, then you get to enjoy whatever city the bowl the bowl is taking right. place in. So right. it's actually a nice it's a nice experience. And we're going to talk about your music in just a little bit. <laughs> but you wrote a song, I guess, for the bowl game as well. Well, it was actually for I wrote a, I wrote a song um, for for my school. It was just right. for, for the football team. Oh, itself. okay, okay. Yeah. So. And it was a part of the – it was featured during the Liber- Liberty Bowl, I guess. So, yeah, well, yeah, that's yeah. what that's what I saw. So, yes, And we're talking with uh, Savell Newton. He's a wide receiver for the KC Command. Uh, then when you got out of college, um, you jumped to arena football. Is yes, that sir. right? Okay. Mm-hmm. And um, you played in Harrisburg? You were, I didn't – Was it just a – I didn't play in cup Harrisburg. Of coffee? Okay. I, I actually, when I came out, I played it for the Georgia Force. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I played – I was there in the Georgia Force in 08. Uh, okay. And oh, okay. What happened was I was sitting at home, and, and the Harrisburg coach at call said they was having an All Star game, a league All Star oh, game. Oh, okay. And they needed a quarterback, so they was like, <laughs> "Did you do you want to play?" So I was like, "Well, I might as well." You know, I was kind of almost done with football. You know, I was home coaching. Right. I was coaching. Um, I was offense coordinator at at Brooklyn Casey High School, so right. I was just just sitting home, and I went and played the game, and it wasn't wasn't too good of a game, but. <laughs> Because it was my first time actually, you know, playing the game arena. Arena, yeah. Yeah, you know, so it, it wasn't too bright. So, well, that's that's okay. Um, mm-hmm. You joined the Chicago Rush in, yeah. in 10, 2010. Yes, sir. And uh, you played like ha- half the season or a third of the season or something uh-huh. like that there. But that got you involved in that. What position did you play for them? Well, I was the leading receiver. I, okay. I only played five games, but I ended up finishing the season leading the team in touchdowns. Forty-one catches. Holy yeah. cow! Yeah. <laughs> if if the if the internet's right, forty-one catches, five hundred sixty-six yeah, yards, and, and twelve yeah. TDs in five games. That's that's an incredible. Fifteen. Incre- Fifteen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like that. I okay. keep my stats. Right okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I should have called you. Yes, sir. <laughs> then, um, and then you played for the Philadelphia Soul, mm-hmm. and um, that was their inaugural season, and that was last year. Yeah, last year. Yes, sir. So you actually played against the command. No, I, we didn't. Year. We didn't, didn't get to play. Against you didn't them get to play against year. them last no, year. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, but you played both ways for Philadelphia. Well, I, I, I played receiver. Um, I was actually, you know, the emergency quarterback. Okay. So we we we'll, we'll travel one quarterback, and I was actually if if he got if something was to happen to him, I was in the game. If he needed to take yeah. a breath or, yeah. or get some smelling yeah. salts or something oh, like yeah. that, yeah. So, uh, but that you had a great year, uh, hundred pass, hundred catches. Okay, I'm going to mm-hmm. ask you, hundred catches, hundred catches, correct? <laughs> Twelve hundred eighty six yards. Is That's that right? Correct. Okay, yes, twenty one TDs. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, <laughs> sixteen yard touchdown pass. Uh, you ran for an additional seventeen yards. Three scores on the ground. Uh-huh. Eight solo tackles on defense. Yep. Is that right? Okay. Yep. <laughs> uh, recovered a fumble and ran it in for a touchdown. Yes, sir. Uh, that's a great season. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the ultimate goal is, you know, to have a great season, hope, hoping that, you know, that a scout, maybe one team, you know, invite you to camp, you know. Mm-hmm. We, it's a couple of players that's actually getting a chance, to, you know, to move up from this league, and that's really what a lot of us do. We just come out hoping that, that we might get that shot one day. That's that goal. Mm-hmm. So, so how did the command find you? Well, um. I guess, you know, two two seasons, I mean, coming out to Chicago, half a season. Right. Then coming back, you know, last year, you know, having 100 receptions, I mean, on, and I was the second receiver last year, you know. Um, so, I mean, Coach Bartow, he, he gave me a call, and he told me how beautiful the city was and said, you know, we'd love to have you here. You know, sure. we, we're looking for that that, that receiver. And plus, um, we have we have Brett Smith that was already here who had 1,400 yards last year. So Wow. You know, I was. He was like, we we would make a good duo. You know, if he'd like to have me here, so I made the executive decision to come here. <laughs> well, welcome to Kansas City, and and at right now you're the number one wide receiver on the team. You've yes, got sir. some. I mean, there's like six or seven areas where mm-hmm. your name pops up as the number one guy. And I'm gonna we'll go through these stats here, and we'll check. We'll I'm check not that too out. sure on these. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, well, I got them from Nick. I got okay. them from Nick McCabe. So. Uh, all-purpose yards, 313. Uh, receiving yards, obviously, 313 tied with that. Catches, 28. Points scored, 36. Mm-hmm. Touchdown, 6. Average yards per catch, 11.2. So you're getting a first down every time you touch the ball. <laughs> Just about longest 40 yards. That yes, probably sounds like a touchdown right there yep. since the field is 50 <laughs> yards. So yes, And 62-plus yards per game um, on a 50-yard field. Yeah. That's, yes, you know, that's fantastic. And, and like I said, we're talking to Savell Newton from – the uh, Kansas City Command. Um, this has been an interesting season so far for mm-hmm. the command. Uh, are there good things to come from what you can see with the team? Yeah, we, you know, actually we came into um, camp with a lot of guys who never played 
arena, arena. football. Yeah. You know, some of the guys, you know, a couple of them coming out the NFL and, you know, a couple of guys that's just young. Yeah. It, it, this is a different game. Like, a lot of NFL players can't can't come into this league and just, just, just – you know, do do the same things that they did on the outdoor because it's a total different game. Is um, for sure. You know, so you know we kind of started out slow in this league. You've got to have a quarterback who's kind of experienced, and we you know we had a young quarterback his first time in you know in arena football. Nate Davis who came in, you know he was it was kind of hard to pick up the game because you know like I said you you don't have veterans in to show you you know what to do. And now, right. And now we're coming in with another you know another quarterback who's also in in his first year arena. And, you know, but, but you know, it's just getting guys to, to gel in, you know, study hard in film, to take take it serious. And I think a lot of guys are starting to buy into it, you know. But on 5 it's kind of hard to feel, you know, feel that you can turn around. But we, we got a lot of guys who are confident that we can. And I think that we will we will start Monday with and, a win. And you've got a lot of games. Yeah, you're on a Monday mm-hmm. night football game. Monday now, night now, football. Th- now, this show is going to play after this game airs on on TV, but they're on Monday Night Football mm-hmm. on the NFL Network, and, yes, and that that's exciting. Yeah. I mean, that's that's very cool as well. So, the differences between the outdoor game and the arena game. Um, what kind of things have you seen? Obviously, there are differences in the field. Yeah. You got to deal with the boards. Mm-hmm. You get you have to deal with um, you know uh, a shorter field and things like that. But what what did you see in in your role? Well. First, first, you know, like you said, the field is shorter. So, yeah. so a lot of guys who who are speed guys that you're four three guys that come into the league, you know, thinking, well, I run four three. I mean, you don't have a chance to run a four three right. on a fifty yard, really on a fifty yard field, right. not running a route. So, um, and just it just everything the windows like close up way way faster than it does outdoors. You know, you got the wall, so the defensive backs they they're able to to slide in a little bit, you know, to use the wall as an extra man on offense, I mean on defense, and then, you know, it's just – it's a different game. It's a different, you know, for yeah. the quarterbacks, it's, it's, it's tough. You know, like I said, I was the backup last year in Philadelphia, even starting at wide receiver. So just, just being – me getting there, you know, and experiencing it myself, how quick the windows close mm-hmm. because, it's, like I said, it's such a small field and we're playing indoors, it's, it's, it's just a different game for everybody. For sure, but you're the guy that actually can start running before the ball is hiked, right? Is yeah, that right? Yeah, you, we, you start you start behind the quarterback, yeah. and you start running full speed, and uh-huh. and he he makes the call at that point, watching yeah. you, and oh yeah, and that gives you an opportunity to get open and for to create that window for just a brief extra second yeah, or just, two. Just a brief second, it, it closed very fast. Yeah. <laughs> now let's talk. We've only got about three minutes or so, but let's talk about your music. Um, uh-huh. uh, you. In, read that you actually um tried out for american idol yeah that that's i mean that that's a whole show right there yeah. uh, but tell us about your music tell us about the style of music that you do and that you you know well, you how know, you perform and i was brought up in the church you know mm-hmm. and singing on the choir and you know it, it actually all you know music is really my first love i love music more than i love playing sports sure but you know i love both of them but just 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 whenever you know i can get in the studio sing songs that i wrote you know produced and it just it just it does something for me and just to hear guys you know other r&b artists who who are you know good at what they do it's uh, i mean it's just what i love yeah and and i I, i've been doing music like for like the past five years like professionally Mm -hmm. like songwriting and producing so I mean that's that's kind of what I do when I'm on off season. I produce, I write songs, and hoping you know hoping to find that one song just to hit mainstream. Sure, sure. Yeah. sure. Uh, so how can people get your get to your music? Uh, well, I kind of took all my music. Kind of, I took it off because I'm okay. wanting to work on my own website. I got I'm you. building my okay. own website, so I took all of it off off my pages, like my social network pages, so I can start so my own. I got you. Own I got you. Now your brother plays for one of your competitive teams. Uh, that you play in arena is he still playing for them now no nah, he oh, okay he, yeah he's a he's actually a personal trainer now so. oh okay okay yeah. okay because mm-hmm. i thought oh well you've got a couple weeks where those two teams are gonna come together there but that's too <laughs> bad you didn't get a chance to play against he him <laughs> uh so so you guys are gonna pull it together uh i want to give out some information on the casey command as well give you their phone numbers things like that but i got to roll over to that page it's casey command 
Ticketmaster.com, 855-KC-ARENA is their phone number for tickets. Season tickets are available. Uh, uh, well, you know, still tickets are available. Single tickets are available for the upcoming games. You've got a game going May 5th versus San Antonio. Yes, sir. Uh, that's a home game. And May 26th versus the Georgia Force, which both are Saturdays, mm-hmm. 7 p.m. Um, media night is May 5th. I wish I could play. They're having a flag football game. I'll be out of town. Uh, <laughs> there's a cash night. Holding. A, you have a special contest where someone in the crowd is guaranteed to win five, ga- five grand from the command. What a wow. deal. That's, need, that's I, great. I yeah. Be in the stands, <laughs> that's right. Buy, buy your tickets. You can get your tickets. 855-KC Arena. You can follow them on Facebook at KC Command. Uh, Twitter, it's KC Command, all one word. And uh, that will do it for our Twitter. segment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I had some somebody on on Twitter that that uh, they did this thing and they would just put a hashtag and they and they then they typed after it hashtag and that was their whole their whole tweet and I just kind of laughed I just thought that was pretty funny. Good. Well, Savell, thank you for joining us. Much luck for the rest of the season. Yes, keep bre- keep you know break break all the records that uh, they love, have at the that. at the command and uh, we look forward to following you yes, and, and what you're doing. Thanks so nice much. To uh, we are going to take a break. You are watching or listening to Good Sports, KC Sports and Fitness, and She KC Magazine Show. We are coming to you from Mafia Mike's Pizza at 87th and Lackman. I am Steve Fish. We'll be right back. Join Kansas City Sports and Fitness Magazine, Life Priority, and Sportsaholic at the Incredible Ball Star Game Watch Party on July 10th at Incredible, located at 151st and Ania. Watch the game with former MLB players. Enjoy a great buffet plus unlimited bowling, mini golf, and laser tag. We'll have Sportsaholic t-shirts, giveaways, and more. This event benefits the KC Baseball Historical Society. Tickets are just $75 and available at Incredible or by calling 913-851-1700. There's more info in the latest KC Sports Magazine. And it's always free, so pick one up today. The next time you're planning a group outing, choose yellow and choose first. Those yellow buses you see that transport your kids can also be rented for activities like taking a group to the big game, corporate events, church or youth group trips, special events, shuttles, and more. Choose yellow by contacting First Student Charter Bus Rental for safe, affordable, and reliable group transportation. With eight KC locations, there's a yellow office near you. For a list of locations, visit firstcharterbus.com. That's firstcharterbus.com. And choose yellow and choose first. Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy. It's an unusual name, but it's a simple, safe, effective, and affordable sports injury treatment solution. Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy has been used by players from the NFL, MLB, PGA, and more to speed recovery from injuries. Now, Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy is available at Summit of Health, 200 Northeast Chipman in Lee Summit. Go online at summitofhealth.com or call Dr. Susan Anschutz at 816-554-4771 to find out how Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy can help speed your recovery from injuries. Get top dollar for your gold at the Gold Rush Exchange. And with your coupon from KC Sports, get 30% off any jewelry purchase. Visit the Gold Rush Exchange at 518 103rd between State Line and Warnell. Call 816-941-RUSH or visit kcgoldrush.com for more details. And get top dollar for your gold at the Gold Rush Exchange. Whether you're playing a sport running a business, or learning how to use an iPad. Your ability to make split-second decisions is essential for your success. Hey sports fans, this is Greg Pryor. I was an infielder in Major League Baseball for over nine seasons and was a member of the 85 World Champion Royals. My decisions in the field and at the plate could have been the difference between winning and losing. Since 1994, I have owned a local health supplement company called Life Priority. Life Priority offers many nutritional formulas that give your body the nutrients that can help your brain keep pace in today's fast lifestyle. To see all 17 Life Priority products, please visit my website at lifepriority.com or call me at 913-438-5433. Use Life Priority products and improve your chances of winning. For free shipping, use promo code LIFEP at lifepriority.com or call me today at 913 913- Four three eight five four three three. We are back. You're watching and listening to Good Sports, Kansas City Sports and Fitness, and She KC Show, the show that complements Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Magazines. I'm Steve Fish. Now, today we are coming to you from a Mafia Mike's Pizza, which is located on the southwest side of 87th and Lackman in Lenexa. Uh, where you can take advantage of our TV and radio special. Mention that you saw or heard our show, Good Sports. 
and you'll get uh, two large one-topping pizzas for just $14.99. Uh, now you can call 913-660-1441 to place your order today. And this offer is also good at Mafia Pizzeria Southside, which is located at 127th and Metcalf. Now this segment of Good Sports is brought to you by Great Life Golf and Fitness at River Oaks, where you can get a country club approach to public golf. Contact River Oaks to find out how uh, about their membership package that includes unlimited green fees, access to a full-time fitness center, and much more for just $29.99 a month. Uh, you can reach River Oaks at 816-966-8111 or visit greatlifegolf.com. Now, in our current issue of Kansas City Sports and Fitness, check out the command report. In this month, we introduce you to the command's veteran defender, Darrell Briggs, who's won a championship ring in college, in the United Football League, in the NFL as well, and now he wants one in the Arena Football League with the KC Command. Plus, we want to remind everyone that the command season is in progress at the Sprint Center, and uh, their next two home games are on Saturday, May 5th, and Saturday, May 26th. And in SheKC, we feature a story on how females are more susceptible to concussions and how soccer headgear is helping to reduce those injuries. Now, you can pick up your copy of KC Sports and Fitness at over 700 locations, including the Kansas City Eye Center right here at Mafia Mike's Pizza on 87th and Lackman in Lenexa and at Mafia Pizzeria Southside at 127th and Metcalf. Now, you also find SheKC at over 500 locations. You can find those locations on our website, which is shekc.com. If you'd like to follow us on Facebook or Twitter, you can go to our websites and follow the links to our pages. Our websites are kcsportspaper.com and shekc.com. And now you can view our show, uh, this show, as well as many of our past shows on YouTube. Search for the Good Sports KC channel. Good Sports KC is all one word. Now, we'd also like to welcome some new advertisers to Kansas City Sports and Fitness, and they include Body by Vi, where you can take the 90-day challenge to a healthier life. Uh, for more information on their weight loss program, visit HeinzChallenge.BodyByVi. And the Gold Rust Exchange at 103rd between State Line and Warnell, where you can get an extra 15% cash bonus on the sale of your gold or silver or platinum, diamonds, coins, and Ro Rolexes. Visit KCGoldRush.com or call 816-941-RUSH for more details. Plus these golf businesses, Golf MD and the Star Golf Card, Hands on Golf, plus the courses in the area, including Hodge Park and Shoal Creek, Heart of America, Eagles Landing, Heartland Golf Club, River Oaks, and Brookridge Golf and Fitness. Now we also want to mention several advertisers that are in SheKC. They are Family Bicycles, Superior Toyota, Your Wellness Connection, Kansas City Chiropractic, Pulofsky & Associates, and Sport Court, and then also Allstate. And boy, it smells really good here right now. I am getting <laughs> super hungry. The pizzas are rolling out of the oven. It smells really good. Uh, we are joined right now by uh, June Moore and Saskia Jacobsy. Uh, they are both from the Kansas City Express. Now, June is the race director for this year's Mother's Day run. And Saskia, you're the group run coordinator. Are you still the group run coordinator? Uh, yes, I am. I'm in the long run okay. coordinator. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, we're going to talk about the organization as well as the Mother's Day run. This will run real close to the Mother's Day uh, run, so we want to talk about that, but we really want to also focus on the organization, which is celebrating a big birthday. June, fill us in. Yes, it is. This is our 30th anniversary. Um, we started in 1982, so we're celebrating throughout the entire year. Um, we've had wonderful events already as part of the celebration. We had the authors of Run Like a Mother uh, come and speak to us at the beginning of March. And later on in the year, we're going to Nashville uh, for a run um, at the beginning, end of September, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So we're really celebrating the entire year and our growth and how exciting and vibrant and vital the organization is. Take that mic, if you would, take your microphone, sure. it bends right here and okay. bend it, there we go. Ah, okay. now, we, now we got more of you. Yeah. We were getting a lot, of, a lot of the neat stuff that's going on behind you, but we want to we make sure that we hear. So 30 years, uh, you know, big thing. So you're, as the race director for the Mother's Day run, is there any extra pressure on you because it's the <laughs> 30 year thing? <laughs> Well, I think there's always a lot of pressure always, on the yeah, race director, yeah, but it no, is. it's actually, it, there's pressure, but even more, it's fun and it's exciting, and this year we have some new, um, we have new uh, parts of the event, so that's part of what we're adding. Well, fill year. us in. Now, the event is actually on Mother's Day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is actually on Mother's Day. It is at Corporate Woods on Mother's Day, March 13th. Uh, we start at 8 in the morning, 
And we have some, we've always had some wonderful events, and wonderful parts of the event. We have women's cut t-shirts. We have charms that every finisher gets. Um, for first time finishers and girls, we have tiaras. Um, we also have a few other things this year. I, I, saw, I saw a lot of women wearing the tiaras. And, and they weren't for just the little, oh, the no. little girls. The, the older, the women were putting them on too. Oh, yes, because yes. it's a huge achievement. To, <laughs> you know. yeah. Yeah. And uh, for the race, I'm also in charge of the t-shirts. And so one of our newest features this year is we are going to have technical t-shirts. So uh, when a woman enters, if she pays an extra $7.50, she can get a technical shirt that she can run in and stay cool in. So it's just made out of a different fabric. Is, right. is that it? It's, it's right. that dry wicking fabric and, and stuff. So yes. Oh, very cool. Yes. I mean, you're wearing you're wearing one of the t-shirts that was from yes. last year's, right? Yes, I'm wearing last year's race t-shirt, and June is wearing this year's volunteer okay. t-shirt. And that's your favorite color. Right? It absolutely. I, re I remember is. that. <laughs> yes. I remember that. You, yes. you you got to pick it or something yes. like that. That's yeah. your favorite color. So, uh, so it's it's a fun thing, and it's a generational thing. I, you know, there there are. I, I I was out there taking pictures last year because I couldn't participate. I'm not a mother. I'm not a female. <laughs> <laughs> but I was out taking pictures, and that's one of the things, that only females can participate in this. Although I do have a picture of one rare boy that kind of cut through the crowd, and, and I think yeah. he disappeared. But yeah. <laughs> I, would, I would correct you just a little bit. Okay, please uh, do. Women can enter and run or, 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 run or walk, walk, but uh, men can certainly participate as volunteers and of cheering course. on the women. Of mm -hmm. course, and there were a lot. There yes. were a lot of yes. men that were doing Absolutely. that, a lot of pictures yeah. being taken. There were a lot of strollers. Uh, a lot of families mm -hmm. that were there. You mentioned generational. Um, we have sometimes three or four generations of women who participate. Um, last year, there was a family where um, women came from four different states to participate. Really? Yes. Yeah. And they had their own T-shirts that they had made to identify their family. It was just so exciting to see them. So it was, it was a lot of fun. And their husbands came along, their kids came along to cheer them on, hold momism signs yeah. along the route. It was a really, yeah, tell us really about the momism signs. Well, we have um, every year, we actually have a poster making party at the beginning of May for KC Express members where we make posters with momisms. And momisms, momisms are saying things that your mother said to you as encouragement or words of wisdom or funny sayings when you were growing up. But there's also people who can just bring their momism signs. Ah. And um, <laughs> we actually have a children's tent. And last year, some of the kids made momism signs that oh, they really? could hold up. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's a lot of fun. And this year on our website, um, there's actually, I think, on Facebook, um, you're able to post your momisms. Oh, nice. Yeah, so nice. it's kind of so give, it's an idea bank for you guys to, to make them as well. Absolutely. So, Saskia, how many um, runners, participants, walkers, <laughs> Stroller pushers are you going to have this, this year? Uh, this year we are expecting at least 4,000 uh, women and girls to um, make the starting line. So we're really excited about that. It's our eighth year. Our very first year we had about 600 women. So it keeps growing oh every year. Um, and, and women just keep telling other women. And it's, it's great. It's, it's so much fun. Because last year you had nearly 4,000 as well. And it, it, just, it just kept they just kept coming and coming and coming in as far as, as the people. And, and you had them set up so that the, the real hardcore runners were out the door first. And then, and then it was a little more the casual runners. And then the stroller pushers and the people that were just there to participate as families and things like that, which, was, which all worked out really great. Um, but, uh, and it's a certified course as well, which means for those hardcore runners, that means, that means something. What does that mean? To hardcore well, runners? it means that when they say this is their 5K time, it really was a 5K. It, it wasn't okay. a, a 6K or maybe only a 3K. <laughs> it, was, it was a 5K. Okay. And registration, how long is registration going on for yes, this? Yes, you can register um, online or um, by mail, and you can download um, the uh, registration forms from our website. Um, that's through May the 5th. Um, okay. You can register um, in person at our packet pickup, um, which is at Dick's um, Sporting Goods on 100 and I believe it's 119th and all. Yeah. 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 And uh, so you can register at packet pickup. And when is packet pickup? Packet pickup is Friday. Um, I've got the exact time here because I didn't want to get it wrong. <laughs> Friday, May 11th from uh, 4 to 9 p.m. And Saturday, May the 12th from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay. We don't have any race day registration. Right. So it, right. It, You're just dealing with the people pickup. that have signed Absolutely. up. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, so let's talk about the organization now. Um, around for 30 years, 
that's you, you, generational in, in its own way. The people that started it could have, you know, 25-year-olds that are now participating in it as well. Um, true. We have um, the, the organization actually started as a group of women who wanted to train to go to the Paris Marathon. And Neat. they um, held uh, pretty funny things like bake sales and things like that to, to help them raise the mm -hmm. money. And then they started going to other races around. It was uh, marathoning for women was extremely rare at that time. And uh, because they had to go out of town to do it, that's how they came up with the KC Express because it was like express mail. And so um, when we had our 30th anniversary event in March, uh, one of the women who kicked us off was Mary Edwards, who was uh, a woman who uh, started the Express, or was one of the four mm -hmm. or five women who started it. And um, she's actually still participating. She is our starting really? line coordinator for the race oh, that's, every year. That's fantastic. Now, to be a part of this, you don't have to be uh, a super skilled runner. You just... If you just want to get in shape, you can be a part of the organization. Absolutely. Uh, we have a uh, what we call the long run group, but you run as, as much as you want. And we also have a, a walking group. Um, and then what we started last year for the first time was a 10K and half marathon training program for beginners. And that was very successful. Um, we actually have one of our women who uh, ran her very first half marathon at wow. the um, Kansas City Marathon. And now she is about to go to Cincinnati for Flying Pig Marathon as her first marathon. <laughs> wow. So what does it cost to be a member of the organization? It's, 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 I looked it up. It's an incredibly huge fee. <laughs> it's, it's like nothing, you know, almost it's, nothing. It's $25 yeah. to be a member for a year membership. And then you can be a part of the club, a part of the, the running group or walking group, and participate in the weekly um, events uh, for no additional charge. And that's part social, part exercise as well, those weekly events. Uh, yes, nice. for some of us, it's mostly social. <laughs> <laughs> and in addition to that, we also have monthly meetings. Uh, right. The first Tuesday at every month at St. Joseph's Hospital, and we have a social part of that. And then we have a guest speaker come in every month. So it's a wonderful opportunity to learn something about women's health and just have fun together. How many members the in the organization at this time about... Oh, let's see. The, I think the last time I looked, there were um, um, almost 400 members. Really? Yes. yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. that, that's mm -hmm. an incredible slice of Kansas City there. That, that's just... And what ages? What ages? Let's talk, you know, I mean... Um, all. All? <laughs> uh, we have, average age, youngest and oldest? We have women in their uh, 90s. Wow. And we have uh, little girls attending the meeting uh, who are maybe middle school. Mm -hmm. um, it actually kind of mirrors the Mother's Day 5K yeah. because we have, um, we have actually a competitive age group of, I think, 80 and above. Mm -hmm. And then um, we also have girls as young as three completing this 5K. So Compe it's competitive, oh, you competitive meaning you would give an award or competitive meaning the participants are competitive and they're, they're talk, they're talking, uh, um, you know, smack to each other. Both, <laughs> both actually. It, it's kind of surprising, but yes, there is, there is one woman who, who's like, okay, who else has signed up in my age division? Um, and we do give awards to, I'm taking you down. <laughs> <laughs> which can be a little scary depending on their age. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was there for some of the, uh, age appropriate awards and things like that yeah it was nice to see some of the it was an achievement for some of the people and and, and you know others yeah <laughs> it was just a fun thing for them to do um so you can join at any time during the year um yes, obviously yes. membership is open at this time for that um you get some discounts and benefits as well as a member of the organization yes we get uh, discounts at various uh running stores uh so that's always very nice and we have some fun volunteer opportunities, too. Um, in years past, we have had a booth at um, the uh, Girls' Night Out event at the, at the K. And nice. so uh, we do a lot of uh, various fun things. That's very good. So um, it, this is a side question. The last time, Saskia, you were on, I had a guest co-host who was also an attorney, and you're an attorney. Correct. Uh, and I was afraid to say anything at all because <laughs> I thought, if I don't say the right thing, I'm going to be in big trouble <laughs> here. June, what do you <laughs> what uh, do? you do? I'm a social worker. Oh, okay. Well, good. Well, you're so, off the hook. Yeah. Oh, good. You, I can you can talk with me. I can talk with you, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, well, when I was a young boy. <laughs> uh, Tell me more. <laughs> Um, 
so as race director, you took on this, this phenomenal amount of work. I did. What kinds of things go into being a race director for those of you that aspire to be race oh. directors? <laughs> well, I have to tell you, last year I was assistant race director, and I had a very good um, mentor, and that was Saskia. <laughs> yeah. Saskia was race director last year. But part of being race director is that um, I, we have a wonderful, wonderful race committee. Um, that's actually, this year we have 32 women who are part of the race committee. Wow. Who take on different jobs. So one of the things is scheduling the monthly meetings, kind of helping, um, you know, make some decisions, but that we have such a wonderful, wonderful committee that it's, I almost feel like it's just more of um, a pleasure and an honor to work with the women we have than, it, sure. is a, than it is a heavy, heavy lifting responsibility. But it's also something that I've been a member of KC Express for five years. And, and during that time, I've really had an opportunity to see the women who have mentored me through that. So isn't something I would have taken on the first year, but this year it <laughs> felt like the and, right year. And what's, what's your, are you a long distance runner or a well, short? You know, we were talking about how we have walkers and runners. Um, yeah. I'm a member of the You're Saturday the walk- walking, group, walking Group. And we have a very vital and exciting walking group. Um, we have women who just gotten started walking then we have women who walk half marathons and really um, um, wow yeah yeah and um, so you know it's not unusual on a Saturday and to have women who will walk 10 miles but you don't have to walk that that far. right, right. Um, it can be two three miles and I, uh, Saskia mentioned earlier that there's a wonderful social aspect to oh it yeah. as well oh yeah. which just keeps you bringing back comes brings you back time and time again yeah for sure now Saskia yeah. you're obviously in charge of the long distance running group What's your, how many, have you done marathons and, and all that yourself? Um, I have. I've done um, 10 or 11 wow. over the years. I've, wow. I've kind of lost count because typically <laughs> I go back home to Minnesota and do Twin Cities, so it okay. kind of runs together a little bit. Um, and then I've been doing some half marathons uh, recently. Locally? So. Some of them locally, or do you go somewhere else and do them? Um, I've been doing several locally. And um, then I'm going to Cincinnati with the, the woman who's doing her first marathon. And we have a former member who just moved there who's a good friend. So, ah, so you, you got a place to stay. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, yeah. That, Once that. again, it's all social there for me. There we go. There <laughs> we go. Yeah, that, well, that, that's great. So if people are interested and want to find out about the organization, where should they go? Uh, the best place is uh, kcexpress.org. That is our uh, website, and that has a link to the Mother's Day race. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and the mothers, if you want more information on the Mother's Day race, that is www.mothersdayrun.com. Gotcha, gotcha. So if they can't participate this year, it's a goal to set for next year to participate in that and then get involved in the organization and start your, your training, so to speak, and your socializing and your building that camaraderie. Exactly. Mm-hmm. exactly. Yeah. And, and I should mention that... Um, for women who are just getting started um, and but aren't ready this year, every year that we work with Shawnee Mission Medical Center on a six-week training program to do your first 5K. And the Express members, both runners and walkers, serve as mentors. Um, and so we are out there with them, talking with them, and, and learning more about you know them and what issues they have and helping them along. Right. So what's the new T-shirt look like this year? Uh, The T-shirt is pistachio green. Oh, there we go. (laughs) And it has uh, a different logo. Every year our logo is designed by one of our members. And we have a member this year who actually also designed the new KC Express logo. She has done our our design this year. So um, it's a little bit of a surprise, but... Okay. uh, (laughs) So you didn't want to reveal it here. (laughs) No. (laughs) No reveal. (laughs) Sorry. No, that's okay. We'll see. It, we'll see it next year when we have you, we have you on, or you send us a picture, and we'll we'll put it in with the. Ed- well, of course, we'll, we'll be editing the show before that. So. Oh well, shuck. we'll put it in SheKC. We'll put it in SheKC. But uh, yeah, that's terrific. Uh, much luck to you guys on Mother's Day, and uh, it should be a. It was a fun experience to be out there last year and and watch the enthusiasm and the excitement and the, you know, the family atmosphere that was there. And and then the the beauty of it is it's all done by before lunchtime so mom can go out to lunch <laughs> exactly right. yeah That's exactly right. you can take them out dad you can't get out of this yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's Family a great mother, healthy way to start off mother's day yeah mm-hmm. okay well that will do it for this segment uh thank you both for joining us june saskia thank you for joining us we're going to take a quick break uh we're coming to you from mafia mike's pizza at 87th and lackman uh, i'm steve fish we'll be right back
Are you suffering from allergies this spring? Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic has the natural solution, Dehist. Many over-the-counter products just mask allergy symptoms, but natural Dehist provides support to sinus and nasal passages to help inhibit the body's allergy defense. And right now, mention KC Sports and Fitness and get a free sample bottle of Dehist with your purchase of a regular bottle. Try the sample. If you don't feel better, return the regular bottle for a full refund. For more details, visit Kansas City Chiropractic. Call 816-753-4600. Single game tickets for the Kansas City Command are now on sale. Call for tickets at 855-KC-ARENA. Visit kccommand.com or email tickets at KC Command and put yourself right in the middle of the action with your hometown arena football team, the Kansas City Command. Eagles Landing Golf Course is the place to play golf in the Southland and is by far the best golf value around. Visit EaglesLandingGolfCourse.com and for tee times, call 816-318-0004 and make the drive to see why Eagles Landing is the best golf value in KC. Find out how you can join thousands who are losing weight the easy way. Take the Body by Vi 90-Day Challenge and join real people who are getting real results. For more information, visit KCMOHealth.com and put yourself on track to a healthier you in just 90 days. One of the world's top golf club fitters is right here in Kansas City. Golf MD in Lenexa has been helping KC golfers for over 15 years by offering expert service at discount prices. Visit Golf MD for all your club repairs. They do regripping, reshafting, and lie loft and shaft frequency analysis. Plus, Golf MD can fit you in your existing clubs or create custom clubs for you too. And Golf MD also offers computerized swing analysis and launch monitor testing. Visit golf-md.com or call 913-663-5050. Get two large, two topping pizzas, ten wings, and a two liter Pepsi for just $21.99 at Mafia Mike's Pizza, 15205 87th in Lenexa, or Mafia Pizzeria Southside at 112627 Metcalf in Overland Park with your coupon from Kansas City Sports. That's two large, two topping pizzas, ten wings, and a two liter Pepsi for just $21.99 at Mafia Mike's and Mafia Pizzeria Southside. Call Mafia Mike's at 913 660 1441 and Mafia Pizzeria at 913 322 6666. After a million dollar renovation, the Kansas City Ice Center has reopened and is now enrolling for fall classes. Located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive, the Kansas City Ice Center is registering students for learn to skate and learn to play hockey classes. And right now, with your coupon from Kansas City Sports and Fitness, you can save $10 on any skate school registration. For more information or to register for a class online, visit kcicecenter.com or call 913-441-3033. There's a 27-hole golf course and a 10,000-square-foot athletic club in the heart of Overland Park. It's Brookridge Golf and Fitness. Come check out Brookridge Golf and Fitness at 103rd in Antioch today. Golf, fitness, group exercise, personal training, swimming, junior golf, and casual dining all in one place. Brookridge Golf and Fitness. For more information, call 913-648-1600 or visit brookridgegf.com. And mention this ad on Good Sports and get your first month free when you become a member. Welcome back uh, to our show, Good Sports, Kansas City Sports and Fitness, and She KC Show. Show that compliments Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Magazines. I am Steve Fish, and today we are doing our show from Mafia Mike's Pizza, located on the southwest side of 87th and Lackman in Lenexa, where you can take advantage of our TV and radio special. Mention that you saw or heard this show, Good Sports. And get two large one-topping pizzas for just fourteen ninety-nine. Mention Good Sports and get two large one-topping pizzas for just fourteen ninety-nine. You can call nine one three six six zero one four four one to place your order today, uh, and that's also good at Mafia Pizzeria Southside at one hundred twenty-seventh and Metcalf. Now, this segment of Good Sports is brought to you by the experts who each will be a part of our show during the month. They are Dr. Lynn McIntosh from Kansas City Chiropractic, which is located off the plaza. Former Royals World Series champ Greg Pryor from Life Priority Nutrition, who will share nutritional supplement information with us. And Dr. Susan Anschutz from Summit of Health Chiropractic in Lee Summit. Each will join us on the air once a month to talk about things like uh, exercise, health solutions, sports, and more. You can also read a sports or health tip from each in our current issue of KC Sports and Fitness. Now, to read each of their current articles, pick up your copy of KC Sports and Fitness at over 700 locations, including the Burger Kings and Sport Clips in the KC metro area. Now, this month uh, she, in SheKC, we outline the benefits of massage, plus we tell you about the Revolve Community Bike Shop Earn a Bike program. 
And I also want to mention that on May 12th, we will be at the Kansas City Ice Center recording an upcoming show in the KC Ice Center. It's located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive, and our taping will start at about 1230 that day. On May 19th, we will be at Royals uh, Danny Jackson's Incredible at 151st in Antioch. And our taping will start at about 12.30 also on that day. And then coming up on May 26th, we'll be at uh, Mafia Pizzeria Southside at 127th and Metcalf. And our taping also will start at about lunchtime, 12.30 that day. So come on out and join us. You might see yourself on TV. And I also want to mention one more thing. We are doing an, uh, at Incredible, uh, and it, it happens on July 10th, which is the date of the All-Star Game. Casey Sports is going to host an all-star watch party at Danny Jackson's Incredible that night. You'll be able to come out and eat from a great uh, barbecue baseball buffet. Watch the all-star game on many of the big screen TVs around the facility. You can bowl. You can play laser tag. You can play mini golf. We'll have former major leaguers there. Plus, we'll be giving away prizes. Uh, now tickets for this special event are $75 with a percentage of that those proceeds benefiting the KC Baseball Historical Society, which is a not-for-profit organization that celebrates baseball history and brings together fans uh, and uh, all aspects of baseball, people involved in all aspects of baseball. They can be purchased right now through Incredible by calling 913-851-1700. And you can also register to win two tickets to the event by emailing your name, your address, your phone uh, to freestuff at kcsportspaper.com. Uh, so register today. Now, in this segment, uh, because we're out at Mafia Mics, we're going to talk to a few of the different people that uh, are involved with Mafia Mics. Uh, we've got only about four minutes or so for this segment, so we're going to run right through this. We've got Terry Reuter from I-9 Sports. Terry, Welcome to the show. Please Thank you. tell us uh, what your involvement is with this group. Sure. Well, our focus is around making sure that uh, kids succeed in life through sports. And Mafia Mikes has been a great partner of ours. We've uh, worked with them now for the last several months. Uh, both of his locations, the one on the south side and then also the one on the next, are real close to both our venues where we're providing uh, t-ball, basketball, soccer, flag football, and cheerleading. Mm-hmm. And you're doing something where you're actually on the boxes. Yes, right? we actually have the uh, I-9 information on the <coughs> boxes. Uh, we're also working with them to have some presence out on our fields with some banners. Um, we also have talked to a lot of our families about the great pizza and provided them some coupons. And, and basically, most of the parents have heard about them. So this has given them another chance to try it and try their fresh ingredients. And it's been going over really well. How can people get a hold of you at I-9 Sports? Uh, they can call me at 913-904-0810 or on our website. It's uh, the letter I, the number 9, sports.com. Terrific. Well, thanks, Terry, for joining us and filling us in on your, your relationship Great. that you have with the Mafia Th thank you. Pizzeria Places now. The next, uh, next guest is Kirk. He's a customer at Mafia Mike's and uh, Mafia Pizzeria as well. Um, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks, thanks for, for joining us. Um, tell us about your favorite pizzas. I mean, just give us, give us the, the, the customer view of, of the Mafia family here, the Mafia Mike's and Mafia Pizzeria. Um, you get a great variety of uh, products. You can get salad over at the south side, salad here, pastas, sandwiches. My definitely favorite pizza is the Philly cheesesteak pizza. Great product. Uh, my wife, <coughs> pardon me, my wife uh, enjoys the variety as well. My son especially enjoys the cheesy bread. It's just good products, uh, good value, and it's, we just enjoy coming here. We actually drive from Missouri. Really? Yeah. Holy cow. Wow. That, that's fantastic. Well, we appreciate you coming out and, and continue to enjoy the pizza. I know you were eating some stuff. You've got yes. your table over here. You were, what would you have today? We had the cheesy breadstick, the spinach and artichoke dip, and my favorite, the Philly cheesesteak pizza. Terrific. Sounds great. And now uh, from Mafia. From the Mafia Pizza family, we got Tommy. Tommy is, and we're not, we're not changing your name. That actually is your name. Oh, and, man. And <laughs> tell, us, tell us about uh, what you guys offer. You guys have a, a weekly buffet? Yeah, not only do we offer pizza, but uh, we also offer uh, pasta and uh, toasted subs and uh, some good uh, ant, uh, wings, uh, buffalo wings. And um, we have a buffet uh, Sunday through Friday. And uh, good salads and pizzas here. Good stuff. What's your favorite? Oh, my favorite definitely is the uh, buffalo chicken pizza. Good that sounds spicy. really good. Yeah, yes. good with uh, ranch and everything. 
And and Tommy, you're in you're in high school right now. Where where do you go to school? I go to St. Thomas Aquinas right now. I'm a junior there, and uh, I'm just working here and having a good time here. Do you live near Mafia Mike's? Yes, I do. I live about five minutes away. Okay, so, so it's a, it's a good it's a good place for uh, a high school kid to you know get, yeah. their, get their pizza fix first of all. Yeah, have their friends come by and see them. Oh and yeah. So are you ma- are you making the pizza and then ringing? Pe- you're doing all that stuff. Yeah, I'm doing the dough? all of it. I make the pizza. Sometimes I'll even go to. Uh, deliveries on my friend's order, so I'll just oh, stop go. by and deliver it to them, <laughs> talk to them a little bit. Well, in the buffet, I know I'm usually in one of the locations at the buffet. The buffet is really excellent. You've got multiple choices of pizzas that are out there. What's the f- one of the favorites? Yeah, uh, a lot of the our customers like uh, the Mike's All Meat. It has all of our meats, pepperoni, uh, Canadian bacon, sausage, and beef, and a bacon on top. Cover that with cheese. That's a good favorite. We also have the Boss, which is like our supreme. It has a uh, mushrooms and uh, green peppers and pepperoni and also Canadian bacon and uh, we have a even a bigger buffet at uh, uh, the our south yes, side. South side, yeah. Yep, it has a bigger uh, salad bar and everything. But over here we like it here too. We get a lot of customers. Yeah, in. absolutely. Well, believe it or not, we are out of time, but it, we're going to have some lunch here at Mafia Mike's. I want to thank them for hosting our show today. I want to thank. Savelle Newton from the Casey Command, June Moore and Saskia Jacobsy from the Casey Express, and all the folks that stopped in here at Mafia Mike's to tell us, Kirk and, and Terry and, and uh, Tommy. Be sure to join me, Steve Fish, again next week at the same time for Good Sports, Casey Sports and Fitness, and She KC Show. And be sure to check out our other shows on YouTube. Search for the Good Sports KC channel. So until next week, be sure to read all about sports, health, and exercise in Kansas City Sports and Fitness and She KC Magazine. You'll find them all over KC and they're free, so pick them up today. Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy. It's an unusual name, but it's a simple, safe, effective, and affordable sports injury treatment solution. Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy has been used by players from the NFL, MLB, PGA, and more to speed recovery from injuries. Now, Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy is available at Summit of Health, 200 Northeast Chipman in Lee Summit. Go online at summitofhealth.com or call Dr. Susan Anschutz at 816-554-4771 to find out how Hyperbaric Oxygen Therapy can help speed your recovery from injuries. Are you tired of paying $40, $50, or even $60 to play golf? Great Life Golf and Fitness at River Oaks is changing the game by offering a $29.99 family membership that includes unlimited green fees, a fitness center, and access to Great Life's 16 other locations. And check out all the great weekly specials at River Oaks, including All You Can Play Wednesday, Dollar Beer Fridays, and the Everyday Senior Special. For more information, call River Oaks at 816-966-8111 or visit greatlifegolf.com. Bring basketball fever to your own backyard or driveway with your very own game court from Sport Court of Kansas City. Let Sport Court come and install a basketball game court at your home. Game courts can also be installed for volleyball, racket sports, soccer, tennis, or roller hockey. So sink that basket at the buzzer and have your own Final Four at home in your backyard or driveway Sport Court. For more details, call Sport Court at 913-963-7529 or visit sportcourtkc.com. After a million-dollar renovation, the Kansas City Ice Center has reopened and is now enrolling for fall classes. Located two miles west of 435 on Johnson Drive, the Kansas City Ice Center is registering students for Learn to Skate and Learn to Play hockey classes. And right now, with your coupon from Kansas City Sports and Fitness, you can save $10 on any skate school registration. For more information or to register for a class online, visit kcicecenter.com or call 913-441-3033. Sign up now for the Tuesday Par 3 League at the Heart of America Golf Academy or sign up for the Junior Golf Camps this summer. For more information, call the Heart of America Golf Academy at 816-513-8940 or visit hoagolfacademy.com. Are you suffering from allergies this spring? Dr. Lynn McIntosh of Kansas City Chiropractic has the natural solution, Dehist. Many over-the-counter products just mask allergy symptoms, but natural Dehist provides support to sinus and nasal passages to help inhibit the body's allergy defense. And right now, mention KC Sports and Fitness and get a free sample bottle of Dehist with your purchase of a regular bottle. Try the sample. If you don't feel better, return the regular bottle for a full refund. For more details, visit Kansas City Chiropractic. Call 816-753-4600. KC's new golf course is the Heartland Golf Club. Join now for $49.95 per month, and seniors play 18 with cart for just $25 with the coupon in KC Sports and Fitness Magazine. For tee times, call 816-523-8601 or visit heartlandgolfclub.com. 
There's family fun for everyone at Danny Jackson's Incredible. Bowling, mini golf, laser tag, and more. Incredible has it all. And right now with the coupon in KC Sports and Fitness, you can buy one double play and get one free. Are you planning a party? Incredible is a great place for wedding receptions, birthday, graduation, and holiday parties, and corporate events. Visit Incredible at 151st and Antioch. Find them online at Incredible.com or call 913-851-1700. Two of the finest golf clubs in Kansas City are right in Overland Park. St. Andrew's Golf Club at Neiman and 135th Street and Overland Park Golf Club at 125th and Covera. For tee times, call St. Andrew's at 913-897-3804 and OP Golf Club at 913-897-3809 or visit golfop.com. Sign up now for the 13th annual Run the Good Race 5K to benefit the Sanctuary of Hope on Saturday, June 16th. Visit sanctuaryofhope.org for more details. Run the Good Race is presented by the Barber Financial Group. 